Everybody ho! Have a few nights and no more house on fire. Keep going. Fire truck's coming. When I came, I saw some guy breaking her windows. I'm like, her name is Charlie. Call her her name. Can we get to that window? The house was fully involved on our arrival. Um, it is suspicious at this time. Start break, break, breaking the windows out. Somebody said something about the gas. The gas might explode. The forward two is all burned down. She goes, I don't know what happened. It just got on fire. And I was like, oh, at least you're okay. One firefighter oh, injured, oh. Um, but no other people injured at all. The uh, resident was out when we got here. That was a lot of fire really fast. Honor. Courage. Patriotism. Integrity. And service to the country. In a time of tragedy, Sometimes it's hard to find the right words. This boy is one of ours, so we all feel it. Sometimes it's just about being there, and hundreds were there for Captain Tyler Voss, while family and friends mourned inside his church. I just wanted to say I hear, I'm here and I care. Outside, people lined the streets in Bernie to honor the brave. I get emotional. I mean, just this, just seeing the, the soldiers. The 21 gun salute that's going to be, it's going to be hard for me too, but not like for them. Many had never met Captain Boss, but there's a familiarity here. Everybody knows everybody. Among unfamiliar faces. I felt like it was something that we needed to do just to be here. Captain Boss is the first active duty death in town since the Korean War, and his hometown honored him as a hero. Yeah, it means the whole world to know that they're out there fighting and losing their lives. Traffic on Main Street came to a stop as people paused for a few minutes. It's, um, it's special. To say thank you. And he was special. And goodbye. Lauren Lee, News 4, San Antonio. Under bridges and overpasses, out of sight, from drivers passing by. People. They coming. Live here. They coming. It's all right, tell you the truth. I'd rather be here than some other places. This is Mike's roof. This is his home. But today's moving day. City crews are here to clean up his stuff. Yeah, I get hurt. I get hurt. It, you don't know how much stuff that the church has given me. They gave me blankets, and just to see them just vanish in one second. Got a few enemies out there, but more friends than enemies, yeah. Haven for Hope's Ron Brown knows their names and knows where to find them. Yeah, you don't have to stay here, man. All you got to do is let me know. I'll come get you, get you over on campus, man. I, I want to take you over there today. While Public Works picks up trash, Ron tries to pick up the homeless. He just he discovered this right? campsite under a tree in the median at 281 and 35. People prey on homeless. That's the reason why they, they go into spots like this, so that nobody will know where they're at. Time to go. Police check for warrants as public works crews get to work. Oscar's from Cuba, but says they'll come right back here. Just used to living like that, it's hard to break that cycle. You need some help up? Hidden in this thicket, cutting through the branches, Ooh. Ron finds a long-lost friend while cleaning up. There we go. I realized who he was, and I was like, oh, wow, I've been looking for you, man. It's real good. It was <laughs> been searching for him. Man, you did a great job. It's a face he last saw a year and a half ago. The city periodically clears up areas around town, but Ron's work never ends. It could be me. Oh, in there, bro. It could be my kids. It could be somebody that I love and care about. And I would want somebody to reach out to them and show a little concern and some care. Two truckloads of blankets and boxes are hauled off today. But this effort isn't just cleaning up the city. 
All right. It's Cleaning Up Lives. Ready Lauren Lee, Rose News Ang. 4, San Antonio. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, I'm, I'm nervous, and like, I'm excited. He should have been in here about six this morning. He'll be here. Oh, it's her husband, her yes. dad. So we're ready to have him home for the holidays. He's in Afghanistan. They, they wanted to be here to welcome him home too. Is that him right there? Poster. Poster. But they all come together really nicely. So we're going home to see all our nieces and nephews. Uh, my new husband's uh, <laughs> family. <laughs> it is nice to come home to visit parents. I'm so excited you're here! Christmas. We're anxious to have him home. I'll be home. You've been gone. It's it's good to be home. With the ones that mean the most. Well, it means a lot just because we've spent so many Christmases apart. Uh, keep checking the board for arrivals. It's actually his first time meeting his granddaughter. She's four. So. <laughs> I'm present. Well, we've lived here in San Antonio and he's lived in Miami and I just life gets in the way and we haven't had a chance to meet so this is the first time for Christmas. <laughs> Have a grand old time. There he is! <laughs> you smell the same. <laughs> I haven't seen him for about five years myself. So. It means family and good time. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, it's uh, out of this world. I, 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 yeah, I imagine this moment, you know, like so many times and it's unbelievable. <laughs> Happy holidays, many blessings, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, family. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Merry Christmas. We're home and it's good. <laughs>